Welcome and hello to this new video. I sound so congested. It's almost tomorrow. So there's two hours before it's tomorrow. And we'll see when we finish this makeup look. Uh, I think my voice is gone, so in part. So there might be some difficulty in hearing me. But my sister's going to do my makeup today. Let's get into the video and start. topic of today is scars and not the deep kind I mean they could be deep actual deep scars but the kind that we have on our bodies from different things and ours are more like light-hearted and stuff not that serious mm. so I'll start <laughs> I forgot to film this also I put way too much foundation on but hey we live we learn we move so basically uh, I have a scar. The scar is still gonna be there after after this video is over, so it doesn't really. <laughs> I don't have to form an insert now, but I have a scar on my finger. That was the first scar that I have. I got stitches for it. So basically, the story is, and I don't know if I've told it on the channel before, but I'll tell it again. The story is. Whoa. <laughs> Anyway, you mm. are okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this is not fair. Not, these things don't happen when I'm by myself. <laughs> I was in grade one, six years old. I don't know when it was in the year, but I can say that I was probably six or five years old. And so we're cutting out pieces of paper, like you know, as you do in grade one. <laughs> Cut. We're cutting out pieces of paper. I'm sitting next to this guy. <laughs> he felt he probably feels bad. I'm still telling the story to the day this to this day because I don't really care It's it's a thing that happened when I was in grade one. He says to me So I already got into trouble for cutting my hair. I still have a bald spot on my on my head because I cut my hair as a kid So I was like, okay, so he says haha with a scissor in his hand. I'm gonna cut your hair he proceeds to like put the scissor like against my my hair and cut it like one to cut it then i put my hand in the way i was like no don't cut my hair and then he ended up cutting my finger <laughs> that wasn't great one so naturally it started breathing bleeding naturally it started bleeding and so I didn't like freak out because it didn't hurt. My finger just got really hot. And then the blood started pouring all over my white piece of paper. I might have told the story before, but anyway. Yeah, it started bleeding all over my white paper. So you know what I did? Did I A? I'm joking. Uh, uh, so I put up my hand because I was like, oh no, my paper. I need a new paper now. And I was actually thinking like, yo, I'm gonna have to start over cutting the things that I cut already. It took forever and now there's blood all over it. So I was like, okay, well. So I put up my hand to ask for a new paper. And the teacher comes over. She was the nicest teacher ever. She walks over. I put up my hand and I waited for her to look at me. I, did, I wasn't like, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> I waited for her to look at me. <laughs> I was like, I just wanted a new paper. So she's like, and she's a nice teacher. So she's like, yes. She walks over to my desk and she's like, yes. Like, how may I help you? Like, the nicest teacher ever. She's like, oh, the name went. <gasps> she freaks out. And I'm just like, okay, now I'm panicked as well. And she's like, so she, I don't know what happened, who she asked to look after the class, but she's, I, all I remember is, I don't remember the parts in between it, but she's dragging me to the office somehow there's ice on my finger wrapped in tissue and the ice is melting really fast and i'm just being dragged to the office um with this because uh, i'm literally just focusing on the ice that's melting so fast and dripping so i'm just watching the drops on the floor I'm like oh look the ice is melting really fast and being dragged to the office so they call my parents and they're like, I don't know what they said to my parents. I'm just chilling. I have ice on my finger. But next thing I remember, 
the poor boy who cut my finger while I was waiting for my parents to arrive at school, he he's told by the teachers to apologize to me and I'm just like chilling. I'm just like, well, <laughs> it is what <ready>. I'm <laughs> just chilling, swinging my legs on the chair waiting for my parents. I'm just like, no, but my paper though. Like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? When am I going to cut out this paper? And but then, I don't know what happened after that, but my father arrives at school and then he takes i don't know why it felt like my father was driving in fast and the furious to me who's like five years old and he's driving so fast to me i don't know if he was driving fast to other people but it felt so fast and i wasn't wearing my seat belt in the back seats so i was just sliding from side to side i don't know why i wasn't wearing my seat belt because clearly i'm a very cautious person not clearly i just wear my seatbelt all the time <laughs> but my father's driving so fast and I'm just like, what is the issue? And there was blood all over my father's car. So I ended up getting stitches. That was fun. Yeah, that's the story. I took, I don't know how long it took to heal, but it was on my middle finger. So it was like I was swearing at everybody the entire time that I had um, the cast on my finger. So yeah, that's that story. And my sister can tell you how she felt when she when she heard that I was was going to the hospital. So we were in the same school. So she was in grade one, which means I'm four years older, so I was in grade five. And I like at our school the grade ones were usually on the first floor and then as you like went up in life you went up a floor. So I was on the second floor. I come down to come get my sister and people are just telling me your sister's gone to the hospital they're not telling me why they're just like she's gone to the hospital and i went into a panic i just remember crying i'm like oh my gosh my sister's gone to the hospital i don't know why she's there and obviously like i have no experience with hospital stuff so obviously hospitals are just a scary place i don't remember when i got to see my sister all i know is that my sister was gone to the hospital and i was very very scared the second story was at home in the pool I probably have told this again before, but this time you get to hear how my sister felt. <laughs> I'm falling. Okay, please. Um, so, my sister and somebody were playing a game, right? And I was with my friend, who was um, the same age as me, but like we were the same age, and her sister is also my, my sister's friend. So like we grew up together, basically. So. Her and I are busy living our best lives and then we see my sister playing a game and obviously as the younger sister I am, I'm going to copy exactly what she does. <laughs> Loki. Loki's going through it. Yeah, so I'm there living my best life. Then we see her playing the game. Now we don't know the rules of the game, we're just copying. That's all we're doing. They obviously have a system that we don't know about, we're just doing what we're seeing. And so the, basically the game was in the pool one person goes up like a seesaw mm -hmm. when the one person goes down the other one comes up and the other one when yeah and vice versa uh, so we we're like oh that seems simple enough let's play it as well and so we play we do it a few times and then when i'm going down and my friend is coming up her tooth like hits me right in the forehead so you guys see the scar that i have here this one over here yeah that is from that game and so it's like a whole family thing that's happening and i am now bleeding slowly walking out of the pool being sad was not a fun time for me uh yeah so i was bleeding like the blood was just running down my face and then i had to go to the hospital and get stitches now those two times are first and last well the second First, second, and last time that I ever got stitches. I've been to the hospital three times in my life, and that's it. So now you can hear what my sister went through as well. <laughs> okay, so all the facts, yeah. Um, we, we was basically having um, a family gathering at our house for New Year's. There's a bunch of people from outdoors um, at our house. Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah. So I, I think at some point I'm like, oh my gosh, where's my sister? Because I think I wanted to play with her. 
nobody was really telling me anything. The only thing that they said is your sister's gone to the hospital. And I think there was some mention of there being blood all over her face. And that was it. And I remember just getting out of the pool and obviously being a Debbie Downer or whatever. And I'm just, I was just like, oh my gosh, where's my sister? And I didn't want to swim anymore. Um, but you know, South African summers. <laughs> I sat in a, a little bit longer and then I just, I guess the worry got to me. I got up and I left and went to go cry. And I'm like, where's my sister? I don't know where my sister was. And I didn't do anything until I saw my sister come back. I can't see because I don't have my glasses and I lost my contacts. Um, but I have a scar on this finger. Um, so the same finger as my sister, I think. I don't know if it's on the same hand, but um, same finger. So you guys know, gosh, what do we call it? Corn beef. Corn beef, but I don't know the brand. So I'd, at this point, I was, I think I was in grade seven, and I hadn't yet opened a corned beef can myself. So when I saw our help at the time doing it, I was like, oh my gosh, I want to do it, I want to do it. So I took the key thingy and slotted it in and like, un I don't know what the word is, but opened up the can. And in my excitement, I picked up the can like fingers first underneath the, the newly like opened cut of the can that I'd made. And I got a deep gash in my finger. So that's where the scar is. And I did not know that I needed um, any stitches or anything like that. But that week just so happened to be some dance performance week at school. And my grade or my class was tasked with doing gumboot dancing. Now, the way we live in our family, we never had plasters and um, those kinds of things. So it's like you get tissue and whatever you can find in you and then you'll make a bandage or whatever for yourself. So we had bandages, I think, from some like something that my mom had to get done. And um, I guess we had cotton wool. So I, I did the best that I could and I wrapped my finger up with uh, uh, like, what you call um, with a bandage and some cotton wool. But then when we did the gum boot performance, my bandages were falling off, falling apart. And only later did I get told by the teacher, it was like, it was okay if you missed this, it's okay. Um, while making everything seem compulsory. Okay, so I think I've told you about my big scars. Then I have these, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see them. Yeah, so a couple years ago, we went go-karting um, as a team from work. And they mentioned for us not to put our arms on something. But because I didn't understand what they were talking about. I think, I think yeah, I, I, I got into the go-kart, did my thing. And then when I came out, trying to get out, I put my arm on the engine and then I burned. So that's that three, that um, three line scar is from that. Then I've got a series of scars from cooking. So you know when you bake something or you're cooking something in the oven and you're taking it out and you have a rack on the top and then the rack that you're using. Then when I take the dish out of the oven, then I find that, or I, I have my arm lifted too much and then I have like you know just singular line uh, scars on my body but I think they're slowly going away uh, very slowly but I think they're going away nonetheless which is exciting so I also ended up fracturing my my hand my left hand a couple years ago so the story goes I don't like wearing shoes at all Shoes feel like a prison for my feet, except for when I go outside, because I'm injury prone, so I have to wear shoes when I go outside, um, especially in grassy areas. But um, I don't like wearing shoes, and my mom would always be like, oh no, put on shoes, put on shoes. So at four o'clock in the morning, that was our usual wake up time to start going to school and work and all that stuff as a family. 
uh, my mom sends me out for I don't even remember what it was could have been toilet paper could have been something so we had like a storeroom outside of the house go to the back room and I never wore shoes but on this specific day I did and I go into the back room I get what I need to get and as I'm leaving so I have a lock up and everything and then I'm leaving we used to have this huge black pipe um, at home that was I think kind of connected to the pool so if you guys know like those race thick steel they're not steel like they're just very thick plastic uh, uh, pipes and my shoe of choice which is a flip-flop got stuck on the pipe and I fell over into this like ditch area where there should have been a tree uh, and I used my hands to break my fall but as soon as I got up something felt wrong so I went into the house made sure I locked up and then I ran to my mom's room and gave her the thing that she was looking for but I don't I don't know if I just don't know how to react to pain but I didn't scream or anything I was just breathing heavily I, was, I guess I was trying to control my own state of shock so I, I, was, I said to my mom like I think something's wrong with my hand and I you guys maybe comment down below do you, did your parents ever be like when you're feeling sick they say if you're if you're feeling sick by the end of the school day then we'll take you to the doctor so something similar happened so um, my, my bone got fractured and I uh, my hand started swelling like quite quite quickly my mom says to me at um, I'm like mommy what should I do with this my mom's like uh, if it's still swollen by the end of the school day let me know so then we bathed we did everything and it's just like it's just this throbbing pain it's not super painful but it was just like uncomfortable and throbbing and go throughout the school day but we have PE that day and then I uh, I go upstairs to the staff room and like our PE teacher was just like she was always so in a mood so we I went up with my friend and I was like uh, to one of the teachers like could I please speak to this teacher and they got her and she's like oh girl what's up now so because of how swollen my hand was I literally just let my arm dangle in my blazer so the the weight was like crazy <laughs> like it was it was funny so then I, I'm like ma'am I don't think I'll be able to swim today because we were doing um, swimming lessons and everything for uh, PE and she was like oh why and I take out my hand and it's like swollen two to three times as big as it is. And she freaks out. She's like, oh my gosh, go downstairs to their first aid teacher. Let her put your hand in this tent. And I'm just like, what's going on? And I didn't, I didn't like, I was so nonchalant about it. I remember just laughing at her panic. It was just so funny for me. But yeah. Okay, guys. So this is it done. Like the theme was veins. Up close, it doesn't look that great. Um, I obviously have a very long way to go for like special effects makeup. So yeah, I'll have to like study and read up on that and get lessons and stuff, whatever is needed. But yeah, uh, for my first attempt at like veiny type things. Also, I don't have the correct tools for it. So I just, I was trying to use like eyeliners and those are like very smudgy. So they're not like sturdy enough like a pencil. So <laughs> yeah. Um, also, so if I do this again, hopefully I have like sturdier pencils that can actually draw really, really thin lines and I think it will look really cool. So yeah, this is all done with eyeshadow with the thinnest brush I have, which is like not very thin. <laughs> it felt like a finger. I could have done this with my finger. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, but this is my first attempt at veins. I think from far it looks pretty cool. It looks like veins up close. Questionable. Um, but yeah, do you want to do the outro? Let's be positive. Oh, that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's be positive. Let's spread positivity. Love you guys so much. See you next one. Bye.